get Yana Ray. This is something you don't really have to worry about at all because it's all it is is just a compare function that we're going to use to uh, sort our struct. So bool operator open that. So it may look really confusing for those of you, especially the new guys, but it'll hopefully it'll make sense. Well, as long as you know what it does, all you need to know about this is that it helps to sort our enemy distances. That's really what it's down to. I'll get list and RHS, and that's fine. So um, we then go return LHS.distance. I don't remember why I call this LHS. I'm trying to remember distance is less than RHS.distance. So we've got an error somewhere, but we'll fix that in a second. So struct compare target compare target EN array. Open close. Yeah, we forgot to close that there. I always forget that with structs. I don't really normally use them often, only in hacking, so I forget that. So bool operator. Oh yeah, I know what I got wrong. It's this here. Um, don't ask me why that goes that way, I don't understand it either. And struct isn't supposed to have that because it's not a method you idiot I'm such an idiot my bad and that should be distance and <clears throat> apart from the 50 errors I just did there in about five lines of code um, don't worry about that basically this will be used for our, our um, sorting and I'll explain to you when we get to that actual bit now this function here I'd like to thank Nubtick for it it's simply the calculated cal calculating of the angles so float is a a lot of fucking stuff to type, but it's it's incredibly important. So float s source float distance float angles. And what what this is used for is to calculate um, where we're going to change our angles so that it matches the enemies. So it's uh, some maths basically. See, so those of you that are comfortable with maths, um, you'll understand this. Um, but um, those that aren't that great at maths, such as myself, um, I think we just, um, well, I've got the basics covered, but um, I tend to stay away from it. Um, basically, this is a world to screen. That's all you need to know about it if, you, you know, if you're not too interested in it. So source, so you'll understand that I, don't, I won't explain too much of this because I don't like explaining things that I'm not too comfortable with. So... If you want to know a bit more about it, just look for world to screens and just search for the maths behind that. Um, we do that. Oh, this is a fucking handful. This one. Um, really difficult not to make mistakes here. So source distance. So apologize if I'm a little bit more quiet right writing this function because I I really have to make sure I don't make mistakes. Do that. Paste that there. And that's two. And that finds out our delta, and then hy which I assume is hypotenuse equals square root. This is if if you if you guys are into math, this is actually brilliant stuff. But I find it quite boring generally. Um, delta zero. Plus. Delta, oops, typo and a half. Delta one <coughs> times delta one. Jesus Christ. And then we close that. Let's make sure that's okay. Uh, seems I've made a mistake on the first line there. One, close one. I've got two instead of one that I should have. Uh, that's fine. So double hype, square root, delta. Element zero times delta plus delta one times delta one. That's fine. And then we go angles zero, and this is where really the the magic is being put in place. Zero. Is it angles or angle? Uh, it's angles. Zero equals float. Let's cast that into a float, and then we go a sin, which is. F, yeah, sin F. Um, we, we're going to throw a float value in there, which will be delta um, 2 divided by the hype 
times 57.29 so just copy this value down I don't know where this comes from um, again this is Nubtix code or someone else from the internet uh, 51 it's a huge number 3082F I'm sure it's got some meaning um, to you mathematic people angle 0 um, and this one's very similar so copy the same thing again angles 1 equals this is tan this time a tan f uh, delta 1 divided by delta 0 uh, delta 1 by, divided by delta 0 times 5729 make sure we're recording okay and that's the same value again and then angles 2 as you know equals 0 that almost always equals 0 so then we say if delta um, 0 and this is something that could be used to uh, check field of view so that you only so that you only aim at enemies that are nearby uh, or within your field of view should I say angles 1 plus equals 180 point zero f so if delta zero is fine angles one zero and that's fine that's our calculator angle done which I really wasn't looking forward to so it's out of the way hopefully we didn't make any mistakes we'll find out later on though so we're now going to go to our aimbot function so we're, in, we're now on our last function and um, void aimbot and we're we're close to the end although there's quite a bit of code to write and as long as we didn't make any mistakes it will be straightforward so <clears throat> alright so what we're going to start with is declaring our target list at the top so target list and this is going to be our array um, oh that's interesting that I create that there I've just noticed I've got a memory leak uh, no I don't have a memory leak I thought I had a memory leak but uh, I delete it at the end so we'll get rid of this at the end so because we're declaring this dynamically we need to make sure we dispose of the memory later on which is what we're going to do target this T and we declare this number of players and this is why we need to declare this dynamically because we only want to call an array the size of the number of players because this isn't a constant we need to declare it this way and I'm just going to go delete target list here just to make sure is that how you do it? I'm trying to remember how to do it. Is that the right way? hopefully that's correct yeah that's correct so we delete the target list later on so leave, just push this to the end because that's when we're done with it so we're going to start off by going in target loop equals zero so first thing and then we're going to create our loop that goes through the application now I'm just wondering this is our aimbot by the way um, we, we will call this from the main function so um, don't worry about that for now for int i equals zero and you guys know I like the for loops i is less than number of players of players i plus plus simple stuff and then we do um, we simply call playlist i so we need to read that information playlist i dot read information and we send the i in so we read information for that specific player so there's a lot going on here and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of checks to make sure we filter enemies or players that we don't want so we're going to skip if we're dealing with teammates all right so if playlist I really should have called it a smaller name because now I have to write playlist every time like an idiot. If playlist i dot read sorry not the read information. If playlist i dot team equals so I'm just yeah so um, yeah my player is it my player we called it yeah my player dot um, not read information dot team. So what we're saying here is saying if the enemy has the same team as us, we leave because we don't want that enemy at all, right? So leave. Sorry, continue. We use continue instead. Almost ruined that. Continue forces us to go to the next iteration of the loop. The next check is so just copy that for a second. We go if play i dot health is less than zero, less than two. That's a Counter Strike thing, by the way. Continue because he's dead in this example. I think. When you have one health, you're dead. Um, uh, we've passed those two things. We're happy with the people that we're dealing with. We simply go calculate angle. Calculate angle. Cal 
Oh, forgot that there. Calculate angle, and we send a couple of variables in there. So my player dot position. We send the enemy's position dot position, and we send the enemy's angle as well. Aimbot angle. Excellent stuff. So all we do is calculate the angle, and it returns. I think it returns. Yeah, the same value is returned. Or well, this is overwritten, so that we can write that into our view angles. So hopefully that makes sense there. And this is where target list comes into play, by the way, for those of you that were wondering. And then we use target loop to loop through only the number of players that we have. And then we create a new target list object, which we declared at the top, if you remember, when we created that constructor. We go player list i dot aimbot angle. Right? So we remember that. We remember who are we going to aim at. And my player dot position. And then we also send player i dot position. Which is really interesting stuff. So all we're doing here, this is our array, as as the name states, target list. These are the people we're going to aim at. Now, if we have 32 in it, th 32 players, we loop through them once. Okay, we don't want to have to loop through them again to, in order to shoot at the closest person. So we then create a new array that um, stores the people that are viable. So let's say we have 10, uh, 14 players, but eight of those are on the other team. We exclude those eight. We only have eight left. Did I say 14? I fucking fucked up the math there. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's say we, we have 7, not 8. So we get rid of 7. We have 7 left. Okay. We then have only 4 of them have um, over 2 health. So we only have 4 left. And we add 4 onto that loop. Okay. Um, and that's acceptable. I'm happy with that. And then we make sure we use target loop plus plus. So the next time it knows to pick up the next person. So we'll only have like a couple of enemies here at the end of it, so we so we don't have to loop through a lot of, of uh, enemies. So if target loop is greater than zero, so all this tells us is was there at least one enemy that's viable to shoot at? And the answer is probably well, doesn't matter what the answer is. Uh, we do std sort right, and this is where the distance comes in. Target list, target list. So all we're doing is we're sorting the array, rearranging the array so that the closest player is zero element. And then we go target list plus target loop. So because we're sorting a, a pointer array, um, let's just going to do that quickly. Yeah, because we're sorting a pointer, uh, an array, and we're pointing to the beginning of that array, we need to say how far do you sort it until. Now if you have a value that's wrong there, you screw pretty much. But we don't because we're, we're pretty badass. So we go compare target en array and that's where that function the, this is the comparator here guys this is what is used to compare whether a value is higher or lower so because we're sorting a struct we, it doesn't know how to sort it unless you tell it to so this is what it uses to compare we go up to here compare target en array as you can see where did i declare that no 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 it's not it yeah so as you can see here all it says it compares by distance which is what we care about okay and we sort that value so once we saw that small array, we simply go to the beautiful part where we say if get a sync key state. So if I'm gonna do I'm gonna do if the again you guys will probably want to have this on the left key, okay? If you'll probably want to have this on the right click mouse. So if you just want to sorry uh, left click, so you'll probably just want to do that. I'll do that for this tutorial. I guess why not? Um, Actually, undo it just so that you can see it in action at all times. And we want to go right process memory. So we're saying if you're holding the right mouse, if you're not holding the right mouse, so if nothing's happening, you aim at all times. We go right process memory. F process dot handle process as usual. Okay. And go p byte p byte. Um, uh, and go f process. This is the reason why people hate external hikes because you always have to do this. Oh shit, sorry. You always have to do this um, write process memory. And you have to write tons for it every time. It's so annoying. So f process dot d word engine because you remember earlier on we store where our um, players aimbot rot uh, not um, what is it vec rotation isn't it angle rotation that's it. We store where that's um, located and then 